In 21st century Britain, the cult of celebrity has never been stronger. Push your bum down, perfect. And my nails are disgusting. Pampered, spoiled and adored. There was nothing better than stepping out in front of 100,000 people. Modern day celebs seem to have won life's golden ticket. This time has been the best time in Royal History, for me anyway. I want to find out what happens when they're stripped to their luxury lifestyles. This is endurance no one could prepare for. And left to fend for themselves in the wild. I think I'll hang in there. I'm about to abandon 10 celebrities. No! on a remote desert island. <laughs> I have to remind myself that I'm not going to die. In the Pacific. Please, God, let us have fish today. Marooned in just the clothes they stand up in. We're living like pigs. And with a handful of basic tools. Oh, my God. This is Lord of the Flies. Give me the machete. Got to calm down, Ewan. Along with five trained camera operators. Don't stuff the camera in my face. They'll be left completely alone. What's up? <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my God. Filming everything themselves. Look at that. Look at his ass. Our skin's basically rotting. I can't believe this is only day three. We are better than this. Come on, we can do this. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have to go home. Deprived of all the creature comforts they take for granted. You know that is the penis, that bit, don't you? They'll only eat what they can hunt down and kill. Just Get in! Oh, Men are wimps. Oh, God! With the mask of celebrity <laughs> ripped aside. Ewan is acting like a psychopath. <sighs> Will they have the courage? <laughs> it won't work. We don't need everyone's opinion every five seconds. Just chill. Determination to survive. And if you don't have water, you die. Just give us something. Ah! I'm beginning to freak out a bit. We're all going to die out here. I'm getting a bit nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is that actually him? Fucking hell, this is it. You feeling ready? Yeah. You mentally prepared for this? I think even from social media, the reaction people have, it's like, do you have a real job? You're just swanning around the world, doing photo shoots and events. I would like to prove people wrong. I am a lot more hardcore than people think. OK, say goodbye to civilization, guys. Ten celebrities are about to begin the toughest four weeks of their lives. The island is definitely an opportunity to escape celebrity, mostly because then I won't have to do as much posting <laughs> on social media. Nervous? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nerves are good. Nerves are a reminder of what you're about to do. I think that going on the island would be, would be an experience nonetheless. And when you strip someone's phone away and you strip water away and, and a toilet and, and very little things, people, people kind of lose their shit. This ahead is your island. Do not underestimate this place. Time to switch on now. This is where we probably want to head for, this big beach. Keep observing everything, just in case. Yeah. Athletes are the most selfish people you'll ever meet because I'm on my own. If I win, I take all the credit. So this is an opportunity for me to actually be part of a team for once in my life. I've watched Tom Hanks cast away. I've always thought, could I do something like this? And here I am. With powerful riptides on the coast, I'm taking the celebs as far into the island as possible. You can see a lot of this. It's swamp and mangrove. You've got crocs, you've got sharks, you've got snakes, you've got stingrays, you've got stonefish, they'll kill you. OK, somebody who gives us a push round so the nose is pointing up there. Push it this way. You guys, be careful. OK, so final words just before we go. This island will take you to your edge, but it's all about how you then react. But remember, courage and kindness. This is a great place to show what you're really made of. All right, just never give up. Come on, team. Let's go, let's get all this kit off then. I've given the celebs just three jerry cans of water. Leave nothing behind. Some basic tools, fishing equipment, and medical supplies. Don't forget the water. Whatever you do, we need three jerry cans. We're not going to forget. Well, she's just dropped it. It's gone. I've got it. For the next month, this group will depend on each other for their lives. Ewan, don't 
don't want to go in the mangrove. We're going this way. Ewan. We're going this way. Straight this way, not that way. Why would we not just go up there and walk? It maybe it's deep in there or something, I don't know. It's not deep, it's going up. I don't know. Everyone always starts with the best intentions. One minute in, all arguing. Just go up and along, not carrying this shit through this. OK, let's not argue. Come on, we'll just... But they'll learn. They'll have to learn fast out here. Woo! What are we doing? Let's do this, guys! Mom! The magic of the island is that it doesn't care who you are. It just strips you bare and then beats the shit out of you. And this is going to be very revealing. Bye, Bear! Bye, Teddy Bear! Thank you, Bear! It's time for me and the crew to leave. From now on, the celebs are on their own. All right, guys, what you're at, and then? The tide's coming in. We need to get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's already a bit of a path cleared. Yeah, but going through the middle of this jungle, it looks like it's going to be too hard getting up. We do have two hours before the water's here. Yeah, but we've got to have dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the local restaurant's like. <laughs> OK, let's go. People make sure they're carrying something, if that's all right. Can somebody help me with yes. this? Yes. I can take a handle if you want. The celebs plan to find the beach Ewan spotted from the boat, or else they'll have to spend a night in the jungle. Just choose the easiest path and we'll follow it. Okay. Mosquitoes! Lots of them! The group's home for the next 28 days is this uninhabited Pacific island. Treacherous tides and currents surround the coast, while three square kilometres of dense jungle dominate the interior. Give me the machete. Yeah. Machete, give me the machete. See how fast it moved. I've ensured the island has enough water, vegetation and indigenous animals throughout to keep them alive. But only if they have the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it. This way or this way? Let's go that way. Let's go there. We're going the right way. I promise yeah. you, this oh. way is the best way. Yeah, let's go up, let's go up. Listen, why are we going up? Why are we not going through where the green is? We're going the wrong way. Two hours into their trek... Yay! <laughs> ..the celebs are lost. There's too many people telling everybody else what to do. Yep. So there was two over there, two over there. We need to just... We need to get everyone together and person. say, this one person today, no matter what they think and if we disagree, we just follow You have to put the trust in someone because and just go with it. it's going to be like yeah. this all day otherwise. But calm down. Yeah, we're all calm. We're all calm. We just... No, no, no. We need, we need someone to take control and yeah, believe in them. Convinced he can find his way to the beach, Olympic sprinter Ewan takes control. Guys, you've got to trust me on this. Let's go. I'm doing the island because I used to love being out of my comfort zone. I'm proudly still the British record holder for the 400 metres. I miss that buzz, I miss that element of having to push myself. I see myself as a man's man. Without sounding like an idiot, I, I will want to lead. I'm an alpha male, I think I am the person who I hope will help bring the team together. Modern day Rambo, love it. You in store, Alpha? Can't fuck with you in. Guys, keep going as straight as much as we can. Just choose the easiest path. Ewan is attempting to lead the group through the heart of the island, its most difficult terrain, to a beach he saw from the boat. Sometimes you just got to follow instinct. Something's telling me this is it. This is the right way. The responsibility though, because if I mess it up. Everyone's following, aren't they? Guys, you're going the wrong way. We're not, Ryan. I swear to you now, I heard the ocean over this side. The left on the, I heard it over here, this way. That's not a beach, that's a peninsula. That's where we came from. Less than an hour after taking the reins... Ryan, I've been up that way. Ewan's leadership is under attack from ex Cory star Ryan. I'm not even turning back, it's that good. I think we've got to accept that a couple of people will just go off on tangents sometimes. No, but they and can't. We can't accept that. Well, it doesn't work yeah, like that. We're yeah. a team. Rather than reason with them, we've just got to manage them. Because they're boys. <laughs> Ryan looks like a uh, sort of a terrorist. That's a side issue. This is, like, quite deep. Jungle. Yeah. Come back to us! That's us told. 
The sea is this way, darling. Oh, thank you. What a gentleman. Just here, he has some afternoon tea. What a gentleman. I would slap you off some machete, but it's actually against health and safety here. Beautiful. There are three alphas. Ewan, Ryan, and Jordan. OK, come on. He's very opinionated. And why is there no women alphas? Because it will take time for the group to recognise the importance of women. That's how societies work. But sometimes it takes thousands of years, unfortunately. If I'm honest, I don't know exactly where I'm going. We actually could be walking aimlessly. We've got so much hours. trust on the people in front. I need some water, guys. Four hours after they set out. Oh, I need that so bad, you know. Fucking hell. There's still no sign of a beach. This is ridiculous. We're going to end up sleeping on this tonight if we're not careful. I, I, can't, I can't slow down. I'm too psyched up. Having promised to lead the group to the beach, Ewan pushes on ahead. It's getting very dense. It's getting horrible here now. Fuck! It's hard to know what we're doing at this point. Our main problem is we're lost in a jungle. And now that we don't have a fucking clue what to do. Please don't be a cliff top. Fucking please don't be. It is, is it? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What? Fuck! Yes! It's the one! Yes! Oh my yes! god! It's the yes! sea! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we fucking did it! Look at it, mate! Oh, I feel how. Christopher Columbus felt when he discovered America. Hello, ocean! We've done it. we found home. Let me enjoy the view, Luke. Why are you spoiling it for me? <laughs> Ryan, keeping me waiting, brother. <laughs> you is a leader. And he's born to be a leader. I mean, he's an Olympian. He's a winner. He's, he doesn't fail. He goes. He doesn't stop. Well done, Ewan. <laughs> the celeb celebrations are short-lived. Ah! <laughs> can we have some water, please? Bring a cherry can, someone. After the gruelling jungle trek, Ryan is stricken with cramp. That cramping would have been because of the dehydration. We have nearly finished all the jerry cans. How are you going to drown? Well, if they weren't there, it would have been hard to, to swim. We have to get water. Oh. People die with dehydration and die quickly. Everybody, before you put any different clothes on, do shake them out, OK, for scorpions and stuff, and check your boots. 12 hours ago, I dropped 10 celebrities on a remote Pacific island. I think I'll get more sleep when I have a newborn baby. I'll put the kettle on. Who wants coffee or tea? All right, mate. Beans on toast this morning or just Marmite? Oh my God, it's part of a fridge. We're the local looky looky men. We'll accept the coconut in return for a pair of flip flops. Have you got a size 11, please? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> See you guys! See you. We need to try and think about where we're going to live. Yesterday, Ewan led the group successfully to a beach. I reckon, Mark, we're either heading for. Yep. The coconut trees there, yep. or around the cove there. Today, Ewan wants to prioritise building a shelter. Do you know what? It's got a nice breeze and it's shaded. We're not sleeping here because there's coconuts everywhere. No, we are. There's no coconuts yeah, here. I'm just saying that, like, if there's a breeze, bro, and one of these coconuts drops, you'll die. Say it straight up. Do you know what? Amazing beach, and I don't think I'm putting a down on it, but I'm just... Now that Jordan said that... What, the coconut is over there? So it might breeze. kill us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not going to fall from there and land over here. I think this is home. Yeah, we can build a lovely den here. Well, well, can someone keep it on that end, please? It's going to fall off. I really pray and I hope people in this group look to me for strength. And that's what I think I need to do. 
lead by example. That's it, that's it, that's it. Wait, what about our priorities of water and fire? The priority right now is to start making this a shelter. I think we need to prioritise water, um, so I think we need to abandon ship on, on shelter making. Can we have a meeting in camp in five minutes, please? Ewan, he's such an alpha male, he's like this Rambo of the group. He wants to, like, build, chop, kill everything. He wants to do everything. I was like, guys, I think I'm going to build a shelter. Really, our primary concern is water. Today, guys, let's get a shelter up. We've got protection from the elements. You won't know how much morale that will give us. That's not the best thing for the group at this time. We've got to think about what we need now. We need water and we need fire. From a medical point of view, we've got one jerry can of water. Unless we get enough water, I know that actually our kidneys could pack in. OK, fair enough. So we find water today as our main priority. The doctor said that, Sarah said, and we, we can't go on without water. Let's just keep the spirits high. I think everyone is doing so, so well. I'm so, I'll use Lucy as an example, right? Honestly, before we came here, I thought, oh, yes. you know, pretty young, ditzy girl, she's going to struggle. She <laughs> is hard. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm, 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 compliment, I'm complimenting you. Yeah. Hardcore yesterday, so and we are going to yeah. flourish on this island. <laughs> Having been convinced by the women to put the shelter build on hold... Let's go. ..you and volunteers to lead the search for water. Everyone has got to calm and breathe before they do things. Not jump up and act at 100 miles an hour. You've got to calm down, Ewan, because otherwise well, you will be no use to us in a week's time. We'll be exhausted. We need to do water, right? And we had to do this, yes, I agree. Yes, I know, but... Well, right. it's a team. It's a team, Ewan. It's a team. Just it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, mate. <laughs> Ewan's a 400-metre racer. His race takes him 44 seconds long to do, you know? So everything he does is done at 100 miles an hour with 100% effort. And so reining him in has been quite a difficult job. Con, serve, energy. All right? We're going to walk really fucking slowly. I'm being serious. Don't let me get too far ahead like a naughty child. Rein me in. I'm keeping on a tempo metre, you fuckface. Come, let's go. Come, love you very much. Yep, yep. Ewan recruits actor Ryan. Dedication and determination. Let's do this. And musician Jordan for the expedition. I just think that those trees, those big green trees, are where the water is. My navigational sense is, is real good and it's 100% there. Big green tree it is. Let's go here. This is the shit. This is the right way. Oh, this book is my notebook. Um, it says, hi, this is my notebook. <laughs> I am one half of Rizzle Kicks. Quite a performer, a bit of a mess, a bit of a joker. <laughs> I think a lot of people think I'm quite stupid by their standards. I hope that the best quality I bring to the island is just like lateral thinking. Oh! Let's go. All right, bros, this is feeling good. Big time, big time. I think we should have brought more water for four big blokes. How much water do we bring? About that much water in a little, little bottle. Imagine there's a lovely little sign saying, water this way. My life's gone wrong somewhere, hasn't it? Why? I'm the best company ever. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> My teeth feel awful. Oh, I know. Just make sure you don't kiss anyone. <laughs> Back at camp, the rest of the group are attempting to make fire so they can purify water when they find it. I have a pair of glasses and uh, I've set them up aiming at some wood, some kindling. So you're just kind of hoping those will light. I'm not giving up today. I really hope for my persistence. Pays off. Is that the dude from Breaking Bad? Like, what is going on? I'm going to the island because I want a scenery change. For me, this is 100% about escape. RJ! What you see in our industry doesn't exist. It's not real. Fame to me is fickle. It has very little value in my life. This island exists and it's real and it's hard. I feel like it's going to break a few people, actually. It might, it might even break me. Oh, man. I've done some hard shit in my life, but this is definitely some of the hardest shit I've done. 
by the green trees just there. Mate, smell-wise, it smells moist, isn't it? On their search for water, Ewan, Ryan and Jordan have been trekking through the jungle for more than three hours. We've come from that way. We haven't, we just came from there. Guys, let's have a little chat. I think we're going the wrong way. Ah! What are you talking about? Green tree's there. Yeah. RC is that direction, the green tree is this direction. What? Uh, well, you've got to be fucking on it, man. Let's do it. I think green tree's that way. Sure of it. You're hearing the wind through the fucking leaves, bro. No, my opinion. The way you're saying it's very confrontational. And it's not cool to be that way, bro. We're not what giving are you, talking you... About? There you go again. What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What do you... Yeah. It's, like, it's very hard to go with something like that, you know? Like, just try and say it in a way where we can all, like, understand it. It sounds like you're sort of, what do you mean? We've got... It's got to be this way, because you're so adamant. You're right. But like Ryan said, we've just got to talk about it like adults. You're having a go at me. I'm, I'm having a go at you. I'm, I'm having a go the way you... You are. You... Let's go the other way. Honestly, that's not even... I'm not even... That's OK, honestly, let's yeah. go. There are clearly a lot of alpha personalities on the island, all vying for dominance within the group. Celebrities are often driven by ego, and in normal life, maybe that actually fuels their success. But if these alphas start to compete instead of cooperate in a survival situation, the jungle is going to bite them, and hard. You getting any smug? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, this is hot. Is Ryan back? No one's back. We're really, really, really worried about the boys. Pack of alpha males out with their machetes. You know, they absolutely want to do their very best and to help, and they're using every ounce of energy they've got. But it's about pace and planning and using our brains probably more than using our muscles right now. There's a sea down there, what the fuck's that about? Hold on. What the fuck? Oh my God, are you telling me we've gone, oh, we live just the other side of them rocks? And we've gone all that way and we could have just walked here? Yeah. After a gruelling four hour trek, the celebs have arrived at a beach. Just a stone's throw from their camp. No, it can't be. Oh man. Boys, oh, this makes me want to fucking cry. There's a stream. Oh stream my God. here! Yes, there is. There is a fucking stream. The fucking stream here! Yes! Mate, it is, I can see it! It's a fucking stream! That's it! It's the fucking water! I can see it! Oh my god. Please. Ah, uh, please be a water source. Oh, come on. Mate, I've got such a good feeling about this. If this is it, we've jackpotted it. Okay. Let's try it then. Oh, I think it's salty. Fuck, this ain't good. For fuck's sake! Oh man, fucking nightmare. Okay, we'll go back and look for your green tree. Paradise Island, full of shite. You and search party heads back into the jungle. Oh fuck! What the fuck is that? Me. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Ah, I've been stuck on them. Ah, I've been stuck by loads of them. Ah, ah. Fucking hell. Ah. Fucking hell. I've been stung about 20 times. Ah. No point me asking, are you okay? But are you okay? Fucking hell, another one's trying to get me here now. Ah. Oh, my arm is fucking killing me. Put them all. While out looking for a water source, Ewan, Ryan and Jordan were attacked by a swarm of bees. The chest one's the biggest one. We've got about one, two... Yeah, one, two, three, four... You've got seven on your arm, one on your chest. You OK, Jordan? Can't even speak. This is a fucking horrible place. It's fucking a drop each, mate. That's our last sip. Do you know what, honestly, I'd pay a £1,000 for like a cold glass of water, well, a cold bottle of water now. I'd pay a grand, easy. You're richer than me. Well, no, I would. I'd, pay, I'd buy you one too. Oh, thanks. Daytime temperatures in the tropics can be over 30 degrees, combined with 90% plus humidity. And in that sort of oppressive heat, you can easily work your way through a litre of water an hour. 
So for these guys, finding a reliable water source is becoming more urgent by the minute. There's the tree! Yes! There's the tree! We can see the tree! Seriously? Yes, mate. Finding a green tree is a pure fucking fluke. This is what I was talking about. That looks like water. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady, steady. Ryan, is there water? No. Fuck! Fuck's sake. Can't go on much longer, guys. I can't go on much longer. Oh. Yeah, I think we are quite a strong team that's come out this morning and we have fucked ourselves. No, we fucked ourselves, so we're fucking useless probably later. You ready? Do it. Gotta get it going. In camp, bitch. RJ and Melody has spent the day attempting to make fire. Let me get it started. Get your hand off. Thank you. And with their water supplies now strictly rationed, the islanders are becoming badly dehydrated. Things are not good at the moment. We are really struggling. This is a challenge, but it's supposed to be a challenge that we can achieve, not one which is actually going to give us kidney failure. <coughs> That's come from not having water. She's got to go to hospital. You need to stop recording and call somebody, seriously. She's going to be really, really poorly. Dr. Syrah is called to assess camerawoman Louise. You're all right. We're going to get you better, OK? Can I get you better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste any of it, that's why I have to swallow. We can't believe it's day two, and Lou, bless her, is absolutely puking her guts up. We need to get water. We don't have much left of this. They're just coming round the corner now, look. After the best part of a day, Welcome home. Ewan's team returns to camp empty-handed. What the hell happened? You've gone like seven hours. John, you any water yet? Yeah. We were worried. Hardest day of my life. You are knackered. Hardest day of my life. Found nothing. Got lost. Getting people lost in the woods for seven hours when we don't have water, we don't have a fire, we don't know where there is any water to boil, we don't have any food, is not smart. It does make me question whether or not we should be listening to you and any more. So I give up. So I give don't up give today. Up. It's the first day I want to give up. No, don't give up. It's just painful. <sighs> Bear Grylls, the island. You broke me. We probably have, let's say, one bottle of water between 15 of us. Yep. Yeah. Let's one just... small bottle of water. So a, there is a theoretically like a sip for everyone still. We're literally done, mate. <sighs> when you really are stripped, We've had a few people come down with fatigue, exhaustion. It's this water thing. I'm not really fearful, but I'm fearful for everyone else. I'm in trauma right now and I'm on that stage one. Do you know what I mean? Of trauma, just anger. I feel like an angry little boy, man. If we don't find this water... <sighs> the group are now beginning to show signs of chronic dehydration. They're losing a lot of fluids, a lot of salts, and the toxins are building up in their bodies. The reality is if they carry on like this, their internal organs will shut down within days. These first couple of days have been very, very tough. And I am not someone who admits that I'm weak. 
my whole career was about being mentally and physically stronger than people around me. I swear I'm embarrassed that I'm this week. Because I really, I, I, re I just want to be a strong part of this team. I want it to be the one that everyone looks, looks to. It's horrible. It's horrible being a shadow of yourself. Men, it's been a real education. The minute we got on the island, they were like, <laughs> what, what, what are we going to do? And it has not stopped since. It hasn't stopped since. It's been non-stop. And you know what? They've all collapsed now. All of them, they have all collapsed. And guess who's still standing? The five women. <laughs> My parents, they don't know that I'm here tonight because they don't care about anything I do. They just want me to get married. But obviously, Pakistani men, they don't really want to marry me <laughs> because I speak. I was brought up in a very patriarchal society. Um, my dad was the leader, he was the boss. Then all my life I have been told, you can't do that, you're a woman. You can't do that because Muslim women don't do that. I want to go on the island because this is not something that Asian women do. And all my life, I have challenged the status quo. I feel like this is a desperate situation. We have to find water. With Ewan and Ryan out of action, comedian Shazia takes up the quest. Come on, guys. Let's get this water. Yes, Let's freaking do it. Channel this anger into something useful. I need your girl strength, man. I need that woman power. I need the divine, Got it, the man. feminine divine. Do you know what? I really don't want this to be sexist, what I'm about to say, but you know, like, when women are really hormonal, time of the month and that, and, like, if you get really emotional or anything, you just think, fucking hell, pull it together. I feel hormonal. I imagine this is what it must be like to be a woman. I don't think I've even got a dick left. We just had half the party leave looking for water. I mean, that's great, but they don't know how to navigate the jungle. Ah, shit, something's stinging my head. Ah, there's a wasp. Ah, your head. Ah, ah, I didn't even do anything to these fucking wasps. Oh, get out of my vagina. It's a well-known fact that animal prints lead to a source of water. Animals need to survive. They need food and water. The prints will lead us to a stream or some source of water where animals will be drinking from. Drink that. Drain water on the leaves, dripping off the leaves. Ah. Oh. oh, man. I spit it out. Ungrateful little bitch. Shazia's search party has now been looking for water for three hours. Animals have been here. Animal prints in the sand. Just follow them. That's it. That's the fucking water. Oh, my God. It's not salty. It's fresh water. Oh, my God, that's amazing. It's yeah, not salty. It. It's oh, not. It's not salty. <laughs> it's that's not. all we need to know. It's going to taste rancid because it's amongst That's not salty. It. That is not salty. But we have Don't spit it. back in it, guys. This but is yeah. our fucking water. Yes! Yes! Yes, Shaz! I want to cry, but I don't even think I have any tears left in these bloody eyes. <laughs> fucking found it, lad. Found the fucking water. Yeah! It wasn't me though, it was all the girls. Yeah, of course. Please, you've got, to, you've got to smother the girls, man. Animal prints leading to the water source. Animal homes leading to the water source. It was. It was. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> When you discover a fresh water source, it's so tempting just to lap it up and drink. But no matter how clean it looks, groundwater contains a whole host of parasites and bacteria. Before the islanders can drink it, they've got to filter it, then they've got to boil it. But they can't do that until they've made fire. 
I used to start fires all the time when I was a child. Now I can't even set this bloody coconut on fire. When I saw this on YouTube, it wasn't that hard. I'm not giving up today. He's been out here for like eight hours, nine hours. I feel fine. RJ is uh, like a, some kind of Midwestern outdoors man. If he has that look in his eye, like he could go full on batshit crazy. Oh shit. There's an ember in there for sure. Fire! Oh my god! Yes! There you go, you got it! Yes! Ah oh, shit. It just died on me. That sucks. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh. Thirst is by far the worst feeling I have ever experienced. I genuinely don't think I prepared myself to feel this dry. Just every cell in your body just feels like a crisp. Thirst is torture. Earlier in the day, the women led by comedian Shazia found a water source. I cannot understand why it's not fucking lighting. But unable to make fire, they can't purify it. And now they're seriously dehydrated. Fuck off, mosquito. That is the darkest my weir's ever been. I'd say it's nearly brown. That's like orange brown. The situation couldn't be any more drastic. You know, you can only survive three days with no water. We have no water left, so... We're just praying for a miracle. Is that thunder? Guys, we, I, just, I just heard thunder. Give us a storm! Better watch out what you ask for. For the first time since the celebs arrived, clouds are gathering over the island. Rain dance. Yeah, I'll do that. It's a tap, 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 tap. Oh, throw you in there. Get the ring. Come on. The mouth is feeling like a nun's chop. Please let it rain. Yes! So happy! It keeps coming down heavier and heavier. And you're like, Jesus Christ! I've been in depression, not having water for the last three days. And I'm going yeah. down like. Wait a minute, I can't drink all that. <laughs> start filling the jerry cans. Yeah, yeah. Guys, let's, let's start filling the jerry cans while we can. After five months of baking heat, the dry season has come to an abrupt end. That is literally the most water I've had in four days. Cheers. Safe to drink, the rainwater has saved the parched celebs and taken the pressure off leader Ewan. I cannot tell you what this rain shower is doing for morale. Because we, we won't make fire tonight, we're going to live off this for two days, probably. We, we filled all three jerry cans, so we're back now to the amount of water we had when we started this whole thing. And there was some talk even of giving them back full to bear as a sort of show-off thing at the end. And maybe fashioning a fourth one, just to really rub his nose in it. The celebs have had a lucky break, but relying on just damn pools to quench their thirst is madness. It's essential they make fire. With the onset of storm season, it's also going to be crucial to keep them warm at night. Guys, we're all going to work our tits off now. We're going to build a raised bed. All hands to deck. We want a comfortable night, OK? But with the jerry cans full, Ewan decides to prioritise building camp over making fire. Go! It's got to be a break like that every time, a little movement. One! Two, three. I'm desperate to be that strong Ewan, the guy that everyone looked to on the first day at the front with a machete. I have to get back to him, and I will get back to him. 
We need palm leaves and we need straight bamboo or straight wood. There's not enough people doing fire beds. No There's there. seven of us building oh, beds and two on fire. Here, Guys, I'm sorry I'm calling this. We need everyone. All hands on deck, mate. 13 people are building a house. <laughs> I mean, I just, it's just crazy. Yeah, this bit. Fire is the most important. Yeah, it is. And there's only me and you, two mm -hmm. people doing it. One, two, three! One, two, three! I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. But first, I want to get fire. I think before we do anything, we need fire. Immediately. We've got water, we don't need fire tonight. He had it. It's tough. Walk with it, keep walking. This is, this is good, guys. Let's bring us back together as a team, OK? It's teamwork. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck! I think Ewan, from the very beginning, has felt entitled to tell everyone what to do. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is your high point. This is keeping you off the ground. It's already there. Then you just put palm on top of it. Why in the hell are we all listening to everything that this guy tells us to do? Ewan's determined to get the bed built before nightfall. Oh, my God! Fuck's sake. But the group have made an unsavoury discovery. We've got some serious fucking insects over here now, mate. Ah! Oh. Their building materials are infested. We tried to move some wood so that we could get off the ground. And then the moment we moved stuff, all the termites came out. And the place is now heaving with termites. It is, been, it is infested. Yeah, that's a, that is a problem, though, you know. That is a problem. All right, are we abandoning? I think so. As dusk falls, the celebs are forced to abandon camp and move to the beach. The men want to take charge. Doesn't matter if they're the best leader, or if they're the most suitable leader, they just want to take charge. And since the men here have been in charge, nothing, nothing good has happened. It's not, it's not going to work. I feel like I'm losing my marbles. The celebs must now endure another night without fire, oh. food or shelter. There's just bugs everywhere. It's disgusting. Where's, where's RJ? He often goes so far off and does such mysterious things that it wouldn't surprise me if he was running a cartel or something at the same time as doing this. Is that him? I found liquor. Rum. Quarter of a shot. <laughs> I think the fumes from this, if we mix it with gasoline, we could take some pretty big hits off it. <laughs> not really. I do not condone in huffing gasoline. <laughs> it's fucking freezing. Oh. In the middle of the night, oh, man. another storm hits. Seriously, you should keep warm, do star jumps and shit like that. I'm not joking, I've seen it. And Ewan's decision not to prioritise fire is having dire consequences. Oh, my God. This is like a horror film. It is a horror film. We just fucked it on the old shelter and fire thing, really, didn't it? Guys, I'll tell you what then, right? Let's do 20 seconds of run on the spot. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. 20. OK, we're going to have a little game of word association, all right? And it's going to start with me going left, and my word is spoon. Girls, at the end, you're playing? I'm soaked all the way through. I'm just so cold. I don't know how to survive this for 28 days. It doesn't feel possible. Next time on the island. I think it's your hypothermia. Girls, the fuck out of here! If this was real life, these people would be dying. We probably already have one person dead. Look at these lovebirds. Imagine if they had a baby, they'd bum on that in a non-dodgy way. That came out wrong. We need each other. They found love in a hopeless place. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's something in there. What the fuck is this? Oh.